Happy New Year's, y'all. Let's make a maple whiskey latte. I'm using my fancy sake pour over, but any pour over will do. I'm using this wire basket and a paper filter simply because paper gives you the best possible extraction. I'll be using a darker roast and it's recommended to use a temperature between 190 and 200 degrees. It's very important to rinse your filter before adding your grinds so as to eliminate any impurities or paper residue in your brew. Generally, you want to add about 15 to 20 grams of grinds per 6 ounces of water or about 2 tablespoons. Now, you don't have to do this, but this is a swirl method for setting your grinds, which makes it easier to follow the line of symmetry when pouring your water. Starting from the center in a slow circular motion, we're going to add about 2 to 3 ounces of water, or equal to commensurate the amount of water per grinds. The purpose of this is called blooming. When you add just enough hot water to the grinds, it releases a CO2, which is trapped in the grinds after the roast. This is a major game changer to properly extracted coffee before adding more of your water, giving you a more balanced, robust, and even cup of coffee. I went a little over eight ounces, which is okay because you're gonna lose about a half an ounce in the grinds and the paper once it's done brewing. Okay, now comes the fun part. We're gonna make our froth mixture using your favorite whiskey. Add just about a teaspoon or two, no more. Then we're gonna add two teaspoons of all natural maple syrup then about two ounces of whipping cream. Using an electric frother, we're going to mix it till it's about double in volume. By the way, we're using Coastal Cafe's Smoky Infused Tennessee Whiskey Coffee. Make sure you pick some up at the shop. It'll be 10% off on New Year's. Now take your maple froth mixture and gently pour it over the top. There's no need to be fancy. Being fancy is not my forte. You can drink it as is or give it a little mix. I provided a link in the description below of our Pinterest page, which has the entire recipe. Oh my God, you have to give this a try.